Hello my lovely Cancers, how is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your December weekly reading. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you need to know will be in the description box below for you. Personals are on sale for the holiday season. You can receive a recorded video reading, one question for $10 or four questions for $30 and Zoom readings for $45 and everything that you'll need to know is in the description box below. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my lovely cancers, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear them. All right, cancers, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you guys. Got the star card in the reverse. The knight of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you guys are starting to lose hope in a situation because something is taking entirely way too long. Okay, that's what that feels like to me. Something is taking way too long here. And it is causing you to like lose faith or lose hope. The page of wands in the reverse. Some of you guys haven't heard from a person. Some of you guys have been like waiting on communication or hoping for communication or hoping for somebody to make a move. Yeah, things have been very stuck or stagnant. And I feel like it's causing you to start to question things or to change your perspective on things. The devil and the reverse. I feel like you're trying not to be pessimistic about the situation. I think you're trying to like be positive, remain positive, but it's getting difficult um, because something isn't, you know, happening. Something isn't moving forward and it feels like it's been like this for a while. You know, the world card in the reverse, but yet something still feels very open. Like there's something here between the two of you and that energy is undeniable for you. We have redemption. And my feelings are real. It does kind of feel like you want another opportunity with somebody here, Cancer. You could also be questioning if somebody else's feelings for you were real. What are Cancer's true intentions when it comes to this situation? The King of Cups in the reverse. Somebody could be being emotionally guarded in the King, Queen of Pentacles. I think you're willing to nurture the connection with that Queen of Pentacles energy. I think that you're willing to invest time, effort, and energy into this because you feel like it is something that is worth investing into. Um, but I feel like you could be being met with like somebody who's either like emotionally unavailable or emotionally guarded in a situation somebody who has put their walls up or somebody who has a hard time expressing their emotions the lovers i feel like you're waiting on some kind of turning point here waiting for things to kind of turn around or waiting for somebody you know something to take off or somebody to come back let's take a look at their energy show me the person that cancer is dealing with in this situation what is their energy towards cancer what is their energy towards cancer, please? Got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands in the reverse. To me, the Ten of Pentacles sometimes can be a card of like what we value the most. Um, I do feel like this person has lost a lot in their life, and maybe they've experienced a lot of loss um, you know, outside of this connection, but I also do feel like it is within this connection as well, because I feel like this person could be really realizing what they have lost in the situation. The Ace of Pentacles to me would talk about wanting another opportunity, um, but the Eight of Wands in the reverse, that no communication or something not moving forward. The Chariot, but desiring for it too. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. And the hangman in the reverse. You know, it's an interesting energy because I kind of feel like you guys are 
don't want to say that you guys are in the same energy, but you guys are in a similar energy where you both do desire for this, but it's kind of like stuck, halt. This person to me, it looks like they feel like you wouldn't want to spark things back up that you would, that you've already released this, that you've already moved on. Um, that's kind of the energy that they're in. So it's like, as even though there's a part of them that chariot, ace of pentacles, that wants to move towards you, that wants to offer you something here. It's almost like they're not communicating because they feel like you're not interested or they feel like you've already moved on. What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions in this situation towards cancer? What are their true intentions towards cancer in this situation, please? Got the page of wands in the reverse. That is that first step. Wow. I do feel like you could be hearing from this person coming up. To me, this looks like taking a chance and reaching out, taking a chance and taking that first step. And that's what you've been waiting for because you have the page of wands in the reverse over here, but it feels like it's open. It's like you can almost feel that this is about to happen. Um, some of you guys are very intuitive. You know, you guys can feel that this is happening. Some of you guys can feel this. Yeah, I, I do feel like they're, they at least intend to. You know, whether they will have to take a look at their actions and see if their actions align with their intentions, but they at least intend to take that first step. They at least intend to reach out. Let's see what cards they get. I love you. And passionate. So they still feel very, uh, very intensely about you. I do feel like you guys had something very passionate between the two of you. They do still love you. Um, I feel like this person could, like we talked about, be a little bit emotionally immature or, you know, having a hard time being vulnerable or, or opening up. You know, I feel like that could be something that's difficult for this person, but I do feel um, that they're getting ready to take this action, this chance. So let's take a look at your actions and then their actions. What actions will Cancer be taking towards this person? What actions will Cancer be taking? The moon card in the reverse. So things are about to become a lot more clear for you here. And the queen of cups in the reverse. It could be very emotional for you. A very emotional time because that is your energy okay um and the two of pentacles i do feel like yeah to me the queen of cups in reverse can be like being a little bit overly emotional sometimes right maybe letting the emotions kind of get the best of us and the two of pentacles like trying to keep it together right trying to balance everything trying to keep it all together i feel like you could have a lot on your plate at this time as well so it's just this to me this is just one more thing, right? Because I feel like you already have a lot going on in your life. You already have a lot on your plate with that Two of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups energy. And being separated from this person and not knowing, but kind of feeling them and having faith. You know, all of this is kind of just making, it's it's adding up to be a very emotional period for you guys. But with that Moon card in the reverse, I do think that things starting to clear up for you is going to make you feel a lot better, Cancer, okay? What actions will this person be taking towards Cancer? Got the Ten of Swords in the reverse, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Cups in the reverse. So it's almost like they want to take action, but then we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So they don't want this to be the end. Um, but the Four of Cups, I feel like they're afraid of rejection. And then the Six of Cups in the reverse, um, they could feel like you see them in a bad light. Okay, and maybe there's been some, maybe you guys have been through some things in the past, and maybe that's why with this redemption energy, right? Um, Maybe that's where this is coming from, is that this person needs to redeem themselves, especially if this person has hurt you in the past or has put you through some things. You know, that is something that is really holding them back now because they have this fear of being rejected. They have this fear um, that you see them in a negative light, that you're not going to want to go back to the past. So I kind of feel like this person right now is at a little bit at war with themselves between wanting to just risk it, take that chance with that full card and take that first step, take that action, but also knowing that there's a, a real chance that they could be rejected. You know, I do feel like you are open to them and it may be, you know, that could be another reason why as much as you do want this and this is something that you're waiting for and you're kind of losing hope, at the same time, it may be difficult for you to allow this person back in too. Um, you know, because of everything that's happened. Maybe that's why this is such an emotional situation. Whew. All right. What advice do we have? What advice do we have for cancers this week? So keep in mind, these are not permanent outcomes, my loves. This is just where the energy lies for this week. You got the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords. You know, we can't brush the pain or what has happened under the rug. It's something that is going to need to be dealt with. It is something that is going to need to get 
you know, worked through, processed, talked over, and healed, forgiven. And I think it's it's weighing on both of your minds right now what has happened in the past. I think it's it's hurt it's painful to think about going back to this situation and potentially putting yourself in another situation to go through this again. Um, but it's painful to think about moving on from this person as well. So I do feel like you guys have a decision to make, and maybe that's one of the reasons why this two of pentacles is here is kind of weighing your options, right? But make sure, especially with this Queen of Cups in reverse here, that you are taking the time to be emotionally grounded, that you're making your decisions from, you know, an emotionally healthy place and that you're, you're in an emotionally healthy place and doing whatever you need to do for you first, okay, to get to that space, right, to take care of yourself. But that is what I have for you, loves. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through it and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thanks for being here and supporting me. And I'm sending so much love and light until next time.